African American children younger than six are living in poverty here in Cincinnati, according to a new report being released today by the Greater Cincinnati Urban League. This is Mark Carnute, and he is here from the Urban League to talk a little bit more about this new report. I'm shocked by that number. You've been covered, covering poverty in Cincinnati when you were working for the Inquirer for many years. Were you shocked by the number, Mark? Not really. We had done, uh, at the Inquirer, we had done a lot of research into this with census data. And, you know, we have one of the highest, Cincinnati has one of the highest child poverty rates overall in the country, around 50%. It's one of the top five in the nation. When you think about all of the businesses that we have here and companies based here and some of the great things going on with development, and then you look at these poverty numbers, it's like two different worlds. That's why we took the title Two Cities. Um, you, you can't deny some of the great things happening here, the revitalization of, the, of Over the Rhine, mm -hmm. the riverfront. Um, but you go into some of these neighborhoods and the, the, the poverty issues are so acute and they have ripple effects and affect education and the health of the children. Um, you know, housing is a big issue. So there's, there's a lot of interconnected issues. How did we get to this point, to having one of the worst child poverty rates in the whole United States? We're not alone, sadly. It's, it's a very common thing. And I think one of the things that makes Cincinnati stand out more, it doesn't make it less critical, is the geography of Cincinnati is much smaller. It's a, a much smaller city in terms of square miles than Indianapolis or Columbus. And therefore, the, the urban issues that we have with poverty and health issues are, are concentrated and I think then elevate. Well, it's so big that I think most people would look at this and say, what can we ever do about it? So what's next? This report comes out today. We learn more about what's happening. Where do we go from here? What we're doing at the Urban League, uh, our president and CEO, Donna Jones-Baker, has put together a guiding coalition of community leaders, very powerful people, and we are inviting people to come in and join that effort. Um, we have a web, a web address now up, which is part of the solution at GCLU, gcul.org. So what will people be asked to do if they log on to that? Answer some questions about their interests and, and what they can bring to the table? Exactly. We're, okay. we're hoping to match people's interests up with um, needs in the community. We're partnering with several other agencies and organizations um, that work in the community that, that provide services, tutoring services, health services. There's a lot to be done and there's a lot of fits. All right. Well, we're going to be covering that announcement today here at Local 12 News. You're going to be seeing much more in our coverage today, but also in the months moving forward, too. And Mark, thank you so much for coming in My and pleasure. sharing this with us. And thank best you, of Sheila. luck in the efforts to get Thank things you. On, on a better road.